We're gonna take this plastic bottle, turn it into this material, take this material and make this on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. Hey, all right, this is my size here. All right, so I'm up in the design studio at Patagonia with Jen Rapp. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, so tell us a little bit about Patagonia. Sure. Well, Patagonia is an outdoor apparel company, and we make clothing for sports like surfing, rock climbing, skiing. Okay. So this would be part of what ski wear or something that like would that. Be surfing lifestyle, wear. surfing, rock exactly. Rock on. All right. So now, Patagonia. You know, I understand you guys are as green as it gets. What are we gonna be seeing today? Well, what we'll see is the different kind of fibers we use. So we do a lot of recycled fibers, a lot of organic cottons. Lots of things go into our clothing that you would never imagine could. Yeah. Well, our letter today is Dina wanted to know how fleece was made from plastic bottles. And I understand you guys have a process for doing that, right? We do. And back in 1993, we actually introduced it. And we were the first company in the world to ever be able to recycle plastic bottles into fleece. And by doing that, we were able to save over 13 years about 86 million bottles from the landfill. <laughs> What is fleece made out of? Cloth. <laughs> um, sheep. Probably some sort of plant-based material. Liquid. This is like sheep, right? Sheep skin. Sheep wool, fur, some <laughs> goats. <laughs> uh, you can keep going if you want. No, that's good. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, I like the colors. All right, so Jim, how do we make fleece from plastic bottles? Well, it's actually really easy. You take a bottle like this that you drink water or soda out of, and you chop it up into little pieces. And when it, once it's been chopped up, it gets melted down and extruded. And by extruded, what you can kind of picture is a shower head and little pieces of fabric coming through the shower head, like a string coming out of a shower picturing head. Picturing it, uh-huh. You're picturing okay. it? Yeah. Then, once it gets turned into a string, it turns into this fluffy kind of mess. Okay. Well, we take that mess and we spin it into a fleece. A fleece. It's really easy. So all we have to do at home is take our plastic bottles, shred them up, and push them through our shower head, and then spin it? Theoretically. Theoretically. Yeah. So it's simple. It actually is. <laughs> Okay, so now once, how do you put the color in? I mean, how do you get all this color in here? Well, once you get it to this fluffy stage, it's basically treated like a virgin fiber. And we can kind of treat it exactly as we would fleece that was derived from oil, which is what fleece is usually made out. I didn't know that. Yeah, fleece is a petroleum product, oh my which is why it's so important to now make it out of recycled materials because with the cost of oil, with our reliance on oil, it's really important that we switch to making garments out of trash as opposed to virgin resources. So it's so crazy, just that the thought of saying that, okay, so we're making our clothing out of trash. I know that's right. probably not how you market the clothing, but... It is actually how we market the clothing. <laughs> really? So I'm wearing trash. All well, right. actually, this here is a piece of trash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what kind of trash do we have here. Green trash, I You've like that. You've got green trash. And basically, the outside of this, this jacket here is made out of recycled soda bottles. The inside, however, is made out of trash. It's made out of things like old office chairs and shower curtains and polyester signage, things that you would never know can be recycled into a new garment. And as technology sort of advanced over the years, we've been able to move from just being able to recycle bottles to now being able to recycle all sorts of trash. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Did you know that Patagonia is not only a company, but a region in South America containing both Argentina and Chile? 